Hey Siri, tell me a joke. What do you call an alien that claims to hail from the outback? An Australian. Wow, you suck at telling jokes, huh? Hey, what's going on? Prashio here, and today we're going to be doing an unboxing and a review of the HomePods Mini in yellow. So this is basically a refresh of the original HomePods Mini, just in a different color. So yeah, let's get into it. Got the HomePod Mini logo here, and as you can see, the box is yellow, which pretty much indicates the color that you've purchased. And yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, opening up the box now. And there you have it, the HomePods Mini in yellow. And right off the bat, I got to say, this is vibrant, this is bright, it really is nice to look at. Alright, let's get this out of the box. And yeah, you've pretty much got your cable, which is your USB Type-C, which connects directly to the HomePods Mini. And this is pretty much what powers it. Let's have a look at what else is in the box. You've got a wall adapter here, which is really nice. And pretty much else, just a bit of documentation. So yeah, you've got your standard quick guide, which tells you how to pair it to your phone and then how to use it from there, as well as some finer details that no one really cares about, as well as your Apple stickers, which is nice. You only get one, which is kind of sad, but yeah, it is what it is. All right, going back to the HomePods Mini itself, I got to say, it really does feel quite nice in the hand. It's got a nice textured design. And yeah, you've got your speaker dials over here, plus and minus, and got a little tab here to pull this off. Let's get that off. And you've got a really nice little Apple logo here, which is kind of cool. I got to say something that actually caught my eye was the fact that even the cable itself is a lighter shade of yellow, which really is a nice touch. All right, so that's pretty much it for the unboxing part of this video. Now we're going to jump cut a few days into the future and see what my time is like with this device. So yeah, let's get it. All right, so setting up HomePods Mini is simple enough. You can take out the dedicated charging brick which acts as a power supply, and after wondering for a minute or two about how Apple gets away with charging more for phones and offering less in the box each year. Yeah, I'm talking about the charging brick. Simply bring your iPhone near the HomePod Mini and it should start the setup process automatically. Now when it comes to using the HomePod's Mini, I gotta say it is pretty... well, it's pretty to look at. Oh, and it can also notify you of your text messages, missed calls, and can inform you about the weather and news. It can also make changes to your calendar as well as notify you of any other changes. It can also make additions and notify you of any changes to your calendar. Now while all of this sounds wonderful, for any of it to work however, you need to have Siri enabled for these apps. And I'll get to why that is a bit of a mixed bag in a bit. Now one of its most important features is its ability to play music. I mean after all, it is a smart speaker right? It's kind of in the name. And I think it's safe to say that the speaker quality is good for its size. It's not tinny and there's a decent amount of bass to it. So yeah, it's surprisingly powerful for its size. But, and there is a but, for a speaker that's so dependent on Bluetooth, you can't actually use it as a Bluetooth speaker. And so Android phones can't connect to the HomePods Mini, period. Now I have an iPhone, and even I can't just pair it up to the HomePods Mini and just start playing music right off the bat. I have to use AirPlay, and this entails going into the settings for AirPlay and ensuring that handoff media is enabled. And after that, I go to select HomePods Mini, and then I can play music. Now this is a bit of a hassle when using this device on and off, and it does affect sound quality. And this is a damn shame, because one of the highlighting features of the HomePod Mini is Siri. That's what places it into the market for competing with the likes of the Amazon Echo. Yet Siri integration for many apps is still quite limited. In fact, you can actually go off and tell Siri to play a song off YouTube or even Spotify for that matter. Hey Siri, play some music off my Spotify playlist. The app hasn't added support for that with Siri. Hey Siri, play Die For You By The Weeknd off YouTube. The app hasn't added support for that with Siri. 
Hey Siri, you're pretty useless, you know. That's not nice. There is a way around this by using Apple Music, but I almost always use Spotify or even YouTube to play music off speakers or whatever it is. So for me, that didn't really work out in my favor because I'm not really paying for Apple Music when I already pay for Spotify. All right, so there are no physical buttons on the HomePod Mini. When the top panel is lit, it reveals otherwise near invisible plus and minus symbols. When touch, raise or lower the volume. A tap at the center of the panel will either pause or resume your music. A double tap skips forward and a triple tap skips back. A long press sets Siri to listening mode. And so it's important to note that at its core, it is designed to be a hands-off affair. Now you can also have the HomePod Mini control lights installed in your home, like the Philips Hue system, which can be integrated into the HomePods through an app, which honestly is pretty neat and does work pretty well. All right, so my verdict on the HomePod Mini after using it for a couple days is, well, it's sort of a mixed bag. While the sound quality is decent, and I do love this modern design that Apple has carried forward, and I gotta say, I really am a fan of these new vibrant colorways. It doesn't really add any value in my day-to-day -day life. And this is purely a personal opinion. It may differ for you. It just depends on what you're looking for though. The sound quality, while good, isn't as good as the OG HomePod. Now I am aware that that was bigger, but still. Series integration for apps, apps that I use, is still quite limited. Now you can use Apple Music, but like I said, I'm not looking to pay extra for a service I already pay for with Spotify. And I guess this is all Apple's kind of tactic to get you into the ecosystem even further using Apple Music instead of the more popular streaming services like Spotify. And I get that. From a business perspective, it's pretty good. But yeah, from a consumer standpoint, it kind of sucks. And so I am hoping that there is support for other third-party apps to use on the HomePod Mini in the future. So yeah, fingers crossed. So yeah, the HomePod Mini, it's nice to look at and it does have a few really interesting features that you can take advantage of. Now, would I use this? Probably not. And this is mainly due to the fact that all of the features that the HomePod Mini or any of these smart speaker devices offer are just a few taps away on my phone. And call me old fashioned, but yeah, I just prefer to do it that way. Maybe these get upgraded, maybe these get better in the future, and then maybe, just maybe, I might give them another go. So yeah, this has been my review of the HomePod Mini in yellow. Gotta say, it's bright, it's vibrant, it brings something to the table, but that something just might not be for everyone. My name is Prashul, and it looks like we're out of time. So I'll catch you in the next one. Oh, but before I go, just want you to know that I do have one more box from Apple that I'm gonna be doing an unboxing on. So yeah, stick around for that. Also, in the comments below, guess what I've got here? Now I'll see you in the next one.